Pejepscot Historical Society. The Pejepscot Historical Society, located in Brunswick, is one of the oldest historical societies in the state of Maine. Founded in 1888, the Society's mission is to preserve and celebrate the history of the Pejepscot region, which includes the towns of Brunswick, Harpswell, and Topsham. History of the Society Beginnings Charter Members Era P. Book, Elected Society's First Secretary and Treasurer, er, Treasurer. Henry L. Chapman, Bowdoin College Professors, Professors. Reverend W. P. Fisher, P. Fisher, P. U. P. Fisher, 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 P. John Furbish, D. D. Gilman, Reverend Edward C. Gild, Henry Johnson, Bowdoin College Professor and Elected Society's First Vice President, Charles S. F. Lincoln, later Elected Society President 1947-1949, Theodore S. McLellan, Edward P. Pennell, Barrett Potter, Lawyer, 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 Frank E. Roberts, Lyman E. Smith, George L. Thompson. Weston Thompson, Lawyer Yerson, 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 Lawyer Henry Warren Wheeler elected the Society's first president 1888-1893. Decline and rejuvenation From 1908 to 1922 only one society meeting was held, due in part to the deaths of a large portion of the group's members and founders. Following this lengthy period of inactivity, in May 1923, a meeting was held to reorganize the historical society. The success of a lecture series which brought prominent speakers to the town helped revitalize the society and in 1939, the group played a prominent role in Brunswick's bicentennial celebration. Issues with the Varney Lecture Hall pushed the organization to search for a new, larger, heated space beginning in 1955. In 1974, the society purchased a large Italian brick building at 11 Lincoln Street known as the McManus Richardson House and began moving, their collection now numbering over 1,500 artifacts into the establishment of museums. Museums. In March 1982, Dr. Alice Schofield Whittier offered her half of a Park Row duplex and its contents to the organization as what was called by then President F. Burton Whitman the biggest and best gift ever made to our society. The building, now known as the Schofield Whittier House, serves as a veritable time capsule of Victorian life. Not long after this, the owners of the building adjoining the Schofield Whittier House sold their property to the society so that the organization might be headquartered near its first separate museum. To help fund this purchase, the society sold their building at 11 Lincoln Street and relocated to the Park Road duplex. Later that same year, the former home of Civil War hero Joshua L. Chamberlain, on the corner of Main and Potter Streets, was auctioned off following the death of its owner. At the request of local citizens, the Society purchased the building and began extensive restoration work. In July 1984, the house was opened to the public as the Joshua L. Chamberlain Museum. Today, the Pejepscot Historical Society operates tours of the Chamberlain Museum and Schofield Whittier House while featuring rotating exhibits of local history at its 159 Park Row headquarters.